Hi guys, it's Kathy from Third Law. Thank you so much for coming by to do a closet cleanse today. Before we get started, I just wanna back up a little bit and talk about why we're doing this. So it's about more than decluttering and purging and getting rid of all your junk. It's really about finding your wardrobe that works best for you. What are your core essentials that are high quality, long lasting, that are versatile? And what that means is that your wardrobe will really reflect who you are today and who you aspire to be. So it's really inspirational. What we want is we want when you stand in front of your closet to feel inspired, confident, powerful, all of those great things. So think about that as you go through this process. It's really about setting an intention for yourself. What we're also going to talk about is conscious fashion because that plays into this. What that means is Think about the things that you bring into your closet. We really want to stop the cycle of excess that happens with fast fashion. When you're buying a lot of things that maybe are cheaper or not good quality, maybe the style doesn't end up working for you. So being thoughtful about choosing things that really resonate with your vision for yourself and that are good quality and will last a long time. That also entails being thoughtful about what you take out of your closet and how you get rid of it. So when you take things as opposed to throwing them out, we can upcycle, which means making something old new again. You can sell or swap an item, you can donate, or you can also recycle some things. This is actually my real closet in Manhattan and you will see everything in here. On the left side is my husband's side, so we're not gonna focus on that as much it's mostly gonna be on the right side, um, which is all mine from the top down. So the process that I'm gonna take you through is number one, we're going to clear everything out. Literally, if you're doing this at home, you wanna take everything out of your closet, every single thing. Then from there, we're going to separate into piles and those piles are going to be what you wanna keep, what you want to either sell or swap or repurpose, and then what you want to donate or recycle. So keep that in mind. Um, how you'll decide about each pile is you know, going to be personal to you, but in the keep pile, you, know, you can start with really what resonates in your heart, let you know this is a piece that I love, it fits me well, I feel awesome in it. Um, things that are just non-negotiable, I would put those in the pile right away. And then in that middle pile where you're going to have your sell, swap, or repurpose, those are things that are in good shape, um, things that you could possibly, um, you know, give to a consignment. You could you can sell them if they're you know of higher value, higher quality, um, or you could do a swap where you swap with your friends um, or attend a swap that's organized by different organizations and I'm gonna give you details on those as well. And then the last pile is really things that um, you want to donate, or if they have holes or pills or things like that, you can recycle them in most cases. So all of that information I will include at the end. Then from your keep pile, you're gonna put everything back in the closet, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a really organized manner. You can going to want to get some hangers that are um, pre preferably velvet. I like the black velvet or white velvet ones. Um, they help save space. And you're going to organize by type, so pants, skirts, shirts, and then by color if you choose to do so. So lights to darks, darks to lights, or you know rainbow, whatever you want to do. And then after that, we'll end with a little bit more information about what you can do with those items that you're getting rid of. All right. So with that, let's get started. I uh, you know, wanted to take you through this process as I am doing it. So this is real life. This is you know, not scripted. Um, everything in here is how my closet has been. There's junk in the back, um, so <laughs> it's kind of a mess. This is a relatively big closet for Manhattan, so you know, I, I'm, I feel lucky to have the space. I know that a lot of people in Manhattan don't. I've had one tiny closet that I've shared with another person, so I completely get it. Okay guys, so we're about to start the closet cleanse and I'm going to take everything out of my closet. That's on my side, not my husband's side. <laughs> All right, let's go. This is crazy. I need 
strong arms. <laughs> That was a lot of work. So now everything's out of my closet. As you can see, it is empty, my side. So now it's time to put stuff into piles. So let's do it. Okay, so by now you should be either going through your piles or have finished going through your piles. And I just wanna give you a couple of tips regarding the keepers, because I know that's a really hard one. Um, what you wanna think about first and foremost what I said before was, you know, the things that you absolutely love that you know fit you are your go-tos, non-negotiable items. Obviously, those are keepers. But then um, what you want to think about is when you try something on or when you look at something, ask yourself, would I buy this again right now, today? Would I pay money for it? Would I pay $50 or would I pay even $25 for it? And if the answer is no, you probably want to let go of that item. I'd say the only other considerations, personally, I think, are if you want to hand something uh, down to someone else, or if you think it might come back in style in terms of like being a vintage piece. But be really honest with yourself about that. If it's not high quality, you may want to consider recycling it, donating it. So here are some of the things that I'm going to keep, and I have a lot more where this came from. But we're going to start putting them back in, and you can see how I organize them by type and by color, and you'll see the whole process unroll as it happens. Let's start. All right. Okay, so I'm just putting um, all my sweaters together. I've got, oop, and I got a pantsuit here, so that's going to go hmm, in between, I think the dresses and the sweaters. Like, I don't know why I called it a pantsuit. This is actually a jumper. That's what normal people say. <laughs> right now I have kind of my bare essentials. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna organize, um, I think I'm gonna do maybe light to dark and we'll see how that goes. So again, this is just kind of a fun experiment. There's no real right or wrong, wrong way to do it. Apparently I have a lot of black because I'm a New Yorker, so. <laughs> Can't hold things. All right. Hmm. Gold and black. That's a tricky one. I'm not sure where you go. Let me go back here. Okay. So I just put everything back in and I organized by type, which is pants, skirts, shirts, etc and by color in each section. So what I'd recommend to you if you are organizing your closet at home, even if, you, if you've done a cleanse or not, if you wanna organize your closet, a great way is to definitely get hangers that all match. The velvet ones are good, um, you know, they come in different colors. And then you want to take all of your pants and put them in one section, all of your skirts, and then you know, your sleeveless tops, short sleeve tops, long sleeve tops, you can do it, you know, by regular tops and then button, button downs, um, then your sweaters, then you have uh, your dresses and your jumpsuits, and then at the end, you can have your jackets. This is not like hard and fast, so if some other method, like, you know, way works for you, that's fine, but the idea is just to have some sort of categorization. So um, 
you know, like I said before, if you want to put all of your dress clothes, your fancy dress clothes, special occasion in one section, you can do that. I like to do that. Or if you want to put um, some of your like workout clothes that maybe you hang up, um, I have some like zip ups and things like that. I sometimes put those elsewhere. But you can see here, um, I've got all my pants back here. Pretty much they're all dark, so um, that was easy. Then I have my sleeveless tops all right here. Um, then I go into my short sleeve tops and then into long sleeves and button downs. Then I move into sweaters here. And then finally I have my jumpsuit and a few dresses. And then I end with a couple of jackets. So, you know, you can, you can just see how nice and easy this feels. And now I know where everything is. So we just completed the closet cleanse in my very own closet. And you can see everything is much cleaner. It just feels really good. I think in terms of my next steps, I really need to figure out what my core essentials are out of what we pared down and what I need to supplement to have like a really core wardrobe that is versatile and just goes together really easily. Because what I've discovered is that I have a lot of stuff and I try to keep only the high quality items that I really love, but I need to have things that work well together. So that's gonna be my focus moving forward. If you follow me at Shop Third Law on Instagram, I have a lot of ideas in terms of different sustainable designers and brands that you can consider if you're going to supplement your wardrobe. These are really nice options because they're usually either made out of materials that are better for the environment or the people who make them are being treated well. And then there's also a social impact part that usually goes into it, whether it's a percentage of the proceeds or a percentage of sales go towards different types of organizations. So definitely check it out and stay tuned for more to come.